Right guys, welcome back to another episode of Chinny Cylinders. Today I'm going to give you an update on my lawn. Look, I know it's not the best in the world, but look, once I got that Elro off uh, Jason at Old Time Pass, it really inspired me to get back into it. I got a bit lazy with work commitments and, and family and all that sort of stuff that, that goes on. And uh, it really gave me some motivation to get my lawn looking a little bit better. So remembering we scalped it, Oh, we didn't scalp it too much. We, we did a, a sort of a shortcut. We used that uh, Cox Scarifier that I was given. And then we used the uh, Alro 54D to lower the height of cut and maintain it at that. So since we did that, I've been using um, my Cox 25 inch. And I've also been using my Scott Bonner 20 inch to um, keep that height of cut, cut the same. And today I want to show you about a month from doing all that, what it looks like today. So let's go and have a look now. Okay, so there she is, there's a Scotty B. No particular reason, I just got it out today for a cut, just because I like to rotate my mowers, and here we go, there it is. So, like I said, it's been about a month since I did um, the scarifying and all that sort of stuff, and lowered that height of cut with that Alro, and I've been using the Scott Bonner and the Cox out here, uh, because I had to give that Alro back, sadly. But as you can see there, I've maintained the height of cut um, and she's responding really nicely. I still do have lots of weeds. There's one right there. Uh, but you know what? I, I haven't got time at the moment to be worrying about that sort of stuff. Um, we're coming into uh, winter soon and uh, it's gonna start dying off anyway. So it doesn't really phase me at this stage. I'm just gonna keep going with what I'm doing and uh, yeah, it's looking good. So that's a bit of an, uh, an update for where the lawn is at the moment. Um, and it's bounced right back. I'm really, really impressed. So uh, there you go. That's what it looks like after you treat it mean a month later. So if you've ever wanted to hook in and take the thatch and stuff out of your lawn, uh, there's plenty of ways to do it. Uh, plenty of machines to use and I reckon just go for it. It'll be back to its best in no time. Like I said, that's under a month. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping me up to date with this uh, lawn, and I'll catch you in the next vid.